What is going on you beautiful humans? Welcome back to the channel. And hey, today on this one, I wanna teach you something that can help you fix that lens distortion that occurs with a wide angle lens. Now I had somebody reach out to me in the community and I always ask you to reach out to me in the community, hit me up. I will try to help the best that I possibly can, but they were asking about the Sigma 16 millimeter, which I always talk about here on the channel and how to fix the lens distortion that it can occur. Now, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, if you have a wide angle lens, like a 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, and even the 16, the best example that I can actually even show you would be if you've looked at GoPro footage. When you are going wide, oftentimes to try to grab as much as it can in the frame, it has this fisheye effect. So you have this bending that can occur up in the corners. And I can even see along the cabinets in the screen uh, of the camera that there's some distortion that's occurring because the Sigma 16 millimeter is a wide angle lens here on the 6400 and it is causing some warping. So why don't we actually get into a Final Cut Pro quick tip, kind of silly trick that can help fix that distortion. Now for the Premiere users, there is a lens distortion effect and it'll work very similar. But for those of you that are on Final Cut Pro, why don't we just get into this one? I'll teach you a little something and then we'll get out. All right, so we are here in Final Cut Pro, and I'm also in a timeline that I'm working on a, another project here, a video that I'll upload here in the next few days, but I got lazy and just decided to drag this talking head clip into the timeline just for the sake of this video. So getting to the point here, when we look at the cabinets as an example, see how that kind of arcs across, it bends across, and I can show you those cabinets are straight. Same thing with this countertop here. That countertop is straight it in real life. Now, what we're going to do, and again, Premiere has this lens distortion effect. This effect in Final Cut Pro is a similar concept. So just keep that in mind. It's a silly little hack, but what we're going to do is we're going to add a fisheye. And you might be like, why are we adding a fisheye when we already have distortion? Well, commence the laughter first. Now, of course, yep, I look ridiculous, but what we're going to actually do is move things over to the negative. So we're gonna come over here, and for the amount, we're heading into the negative. Now that's a little too much. So as you'll see, you can, you can run away with this. But what we're gonna do is kinda of hang about right there. I look like my face actually does look like that. It's not, it's not round, and I don't look concave. This across here looks pretty straight. And if we wanted to just make it even, we could just go a negative one here just to even things out. So you'll notice a lot straighter. Now this is something that you're gonna to have to manipulate based on the landscape, the subject, whatever setting you're working in. So it's not always gonna be perfect. You will have to adjust based on what look you're going for. Now, you also notice over here, there's these black bars. Rather than me cropping in on it, what we're gonna do is come back up to the radius and we are gonna drag that over to the left. Now, of course, you'll see the microphone up into the top uh, of the shot there. So I'll, I'll even just drag this enough to get the microphone out of the shot, just enough there. So we're at like on the negative side or the left side, 0.14. And if you want to, if you don't like 0 0.14 and you'd rather it be like 0.15, so be it. So you'll see Black bars are gone around the side, nothing here, top and bottom, and it's fairly straight. And again, I could try to manipulate this a little bit, but as I look, especially in this talking head, everything looks to be within what I would say visually it looks correct. And also keep in mind too, is that this is something that you can paste the effect. So in this talking head piece, if I'm working with multiple clips that I'm cutting, of course, I would just do Command C to copy that and then Command Shift V to then paste the video attributes. I don't, I'm not worried about the audio attributes, but I would paste that fisheye effect on all of the clips that I have for the talking head. If it's all the same, I'm sitting in front of the camera, nothing changes, I will just paste that effect into all of those clips. Does that make sense? All right, a quick one for you on this one. I know it's silly, I admit, but hey, for me, it actually works. Experiment with it, see what you think. And of course, for the Premiere users, as I said, very similar effect with lens distortion, same concept there. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below as I always do, and I try to respond to as many of you as possible. 
I'm gonna go back to finish the actual project that I'm working on the next few days, and I will see you on that one. Until then, go rock faces, and I'll catch you on the next one. Start it up.